All right, so complicated chords, they don't have to be complicated at all. I'm going to teach you how to take something boring, or just basic, you know, basic triads, and I'm gonna teach you how to play more, more like that. And the way I'm going to tell you to think about these complicated chords is think about uh, two things. Think about how chords are built up by stacking thirds. Like that's like the basic origin of chords, is, you know, a triad. This is a G minor triad. And if you keep stacking thirds diatonically, that's the other word, that's the other fancy word of the lesson. So diatonically, what that means is it's using the notes inside the key signature. So say, you know, I, we, we've got two chords here. We've got a G minor and an E flat major. And these chords both naturally occur in the G minor scale. So they're perfect together. They're kind of like two peas in a pod. And you can stack thirds. And here's what I mean by that. So you have a G minor triad here. And let's keep on this stacking party. So we're going to take this D note and add a third above that. And a third above that, so that's a minor third that we add above that. We add a, an F on top because we're working in the G minor scale. So the G minor triad can be extended into a G minor seven. If you want to keep on going, you can even add a third on top of this, on top of this top F note. And then you have a G minor, and you're adding that nine there. Okay, so kind of think about your chords as stacking those thirds, and they go, they go up, you know. One, three, five, seven, nine, so on and so forth. So we also had that, uh, that E flat major chord. Sounds nice, but it's just super basic again. This is a basic triad. So let's uh, do the same thing. We're gonna add a third on top of here. So what's a third away from B flat when we're still working within the key signature of G minor? So you understand? So, G minor. Oh, so that's the note. It's a D. So that means it's a E flat major seven. And what's fascinating about this is it's actually got the same, it's got the same chord buried within it, like both of these chords that I'm doing that sound super flashy, they're kind of derived off of this G minor triad shape, see? G minor, G minor seven, back to G minor. Now we're gonna make it into an E flat major seven. Okay, so that might look complicated with one hand, you know, we've only got five fingers. But it's not that hard if you learn how to split up the voicing. So that just means play some of the notes in the left hand, some of them in the right hand, and some of them with your nose. Just kidding. So, um, <clears throat> look at this. Uh, this G minor seven, we can, you know, just simplify by playing just playing like the G in the bass clef and then the rest of the notes here. If you want to make, add in that ninth chord, we can play it like this or we can, that's kind of interesting. So this is, we're just playing the upper structure of a G minor add nine chord here and then we're giving our, our minor interval down below. So same principle. 
Same principle with, the, uh, with that E flat major chord. Sort of take your roots. Usually I like to take my root and fifth intervals and handle them in the bass and then all my other uh, more colorful intervals I will play in the right hand. And it ends up sounding really cool and it's super easy and simple to split them up that way. Okay, so that was uh, just some easy ways to make complicated chords not quite so complicated. Um, be sure to check out the rest of our lessons. Thanks for watching.